This episode of Speed Loads is coming to you from the Cameo Shooting and Education Center uh, near Grand Junction, Colorado. And as you can tell by looking around, it's, uh, it's hot and dusty out here. And it's a great place to spend some time with SIG's new Kilo 8K ABS. I've been messing with this thing for the last few hours. And um, I just want to tell you a little bit about this, this range finder. Well, we're gonna call it a range finder, but there's a whole lot more involved than just that. So range finding capabilities of, this, of the Kilo 8K ABS. All right, so it can hit up to 8,000 yards on reflective targets. This one, we've hit 6,800 yards on a stop sign. So once again, you know, up to 8,000 yards. You know, I'm a meathead, 6,800 yards on a stop sign, not too shabby. Um, SIG will tell you 2,500 yards, up to 2,500 yards on, on, a, on a tree, depending on the reflectivity of the tree. You know, I'm out here hitting bushes at just past 2,300 yards. And I'll tell you, for, for a, a field test, anybody that knows anything about reflectivity knows that sand and rock are, are, will soak up signal like nobody's business. And so being able to hit bushes at 2,300 yards with this is really impressive. Uh, when it comes to deer, you know, uh, skin and fur, you're gonna get up to 2,000 yards. So well beyond what anybody's gonna actually shoot at an animal. Um, you know, and if you're going to ring steel, I don't know anybody who's shooting out to 8,000 yards yet, although I'm sure somebody's tried. Um, so some of the details on the rangefinder. Uh, at 1,000 meters, your beam divergence is going to measure 1.25 meters wide by 0.25 meters high. So pretty good on the beam divergence. Um, range finding capabilities exceptional. So, so what else, right? Well. Built into this is also the Applied Ballistics Elite uh, Ballistic Calculator. So it can draw off of the bullet library of Applied Ballistics. All the custom curves, you can still run BC if you want. If you got custom curves, you want to put your own custom curve, you can. Um, that's probably one of the most, most used and most vetted ballistic solvers out there and it's built right into this Bad Johnson. Additionally, this is a handheld weather station. All the environmental sensors are built into this, so it will measure uh, temperature, humidity, and pressure, and put that into each calculation every time you range a target. One of my favorite features about this device is the display. Um, now, SIG calls that the active matrix display, and what it is, is it's this cool screen that's highly customizable. Um, so when you put this thing up in range, it's gonna give you uh, the distance to the target. Underneath that, it will give you your hold and elevation and your wind hold. You can input wind speed manually, but each one of these will shoot will ship with a, uh, a Bluetooth wind meter, so it can just pull off the wind meter if you don't want to do it manually. Um, so underneath your distance to the target, you get elevation hold, wind hold. Underneath that, it will give you impact velocity at the target and mu and a bullet energy at the target. Now that's really beneficial for hunters, right? Because like, let's say, like most polymer tip bullets, they need an impact velocity of about 1800 feet per second for them to open up and perform. So you're gonna range an animal and know immediately if you're above that 1800 feet per second window. Uh, same with muzzle energy, right? Like, hey, I want at least a thousand foot pounds on the animal when the bullet hits or I don't wanna shoot. Once again, range it, check, and if you're above a thousand foot pounds, baby, you are good to go. Um, it's highly customizable. There's four reticles uh, from which to choose. You've got a circle, a square, a duplex, and uh, like a, a milling grid. Um, and then additionally displayed is you've got the, uh, the distance that adjusted for angle. SIG calls it AMR up in the top left corner. And then the inclination in degrees in the top right hand corner. You can pull as much of that out as you want. Um, and then also what you can do, and this is really cool, is that you can zero your beam to your reticle. So let's say you've got the circle, right? And you're trying to hit a target at 1200 yards. Well, a lot of times what you're shooting at is gonna be smaller than your reticle. So am I hitting the piece of steel? Am I hitting the ground behind it? What exactly am I hitting? Well, so, okay, me personally, I'm probably gonna go with the box and I'm probably gonna zero that beam to the lower right-hand corner of the box. Why? Because that gives me a very clearly defined point of aim. And when I put the lower corner on the box, on the little tiny piece of steel and hit range, I know that my beam hit where that, uh, that lower right-hand corner of the box is at and I know the exact distance. Um, additionally, 
this thing works with base map now base map is an app that's going to be on your phone um, if you're like well you know i hunt i don't have cell signal your phone has got a gps most smartphones have gps built in they don't need cell signal to work for the gps so what that allows you to do is you can pull up the imagery where you're hunting um, and let's say i'm shooting a ridge line over okay well I shot an animal and it disappeared off the other side of the ridge line. Okay, what I can do is drop a pin on base map and then navigate. Well, using this, I can range it and it'll drop a pin to where the target is on base map. And then I can go backtrack, you know, maybe it's two hours before I get to where I saw the animal. But bottom line is I can navigate back to that exact point that I dropped on the map. Um, also, like if you see an animal bedded down and it's 2,000 yards away, you can drop a pin on that and then start your stalk. And sometimes that might be, mean backtracking, getting in the truck and driving 40 miles to get out somewhere else. But bottom line is you know exactly where that animal was when you left it and you can navigate back to that point. And then finally, you know what, what's nice about base map is if you've got public land and private land and it's all kind of mixed together, you can range an animal, drop a pin and know immediately if that's public land and game on or if it's private land and now I gotta go get somebody's permission. Um, as you can tell, there's a ton of capability built into this thing, um, so it is not gonna be inexpensive. Retail is gonna be right around 1949, probably selling the gun shop for a few hundred bucks less than that. Uh, every one of these comes with uh, the range finder, little tripod stand over here, a carrying case, and that, uh, that Bluetooth wind meter that we already mentioned. Um, lastly, I'd like to thank SIG for sponsoring this video, and if you'd like to know more about the Kilo 8K ABS, you can go to www.sigsour.com.